Remember, yeah. Bro, try to stand up. Stand up and do it. Yeah, there you go. What's up, everybody? I'm Luke with Ride Bikes More, and today I am in Houston, Texas, 2022, 2022. with Mr. 70 kjj They know who I am. They already know. Shit, you can't just be here. We're doing a bike ride interview. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button yes, and remember to follow because it makes you feel good. Uh. Damn, little haters, man. I like do it, bro. <laughs> My actual name is Justin, so but everybody knows me as Jay. I was born in Africa. I was born here. I like I like being active. Uh, anything that gives me a challenge, man. Bro, I started riding bike like late February of 2021. So, so recent. Yeah, so recently, recently, bro. And like the way I figured it out, uh, bike life. I didn't just search it up, but like I was well, I was going I was going to Walmart, and I was having all beach cruiser. It had lights. It was like a peak beach cruiser. And like, I was just going to Walmart, just passing through downtown. And I see a bunch of, it was a Monday, it was a Ratchet Rider. Uh, I see a bunch of people passing by. You know me, I have my phone, so I'm trying to get the cloud. I get the video, and I went back to Walmart. But so I get the video, a homegirl of mine texts me, Hey, yo, what ride are you with today? I'm like, what are you talking about? Yo, there's different rides. I'm like, yeah, but, dude, what? I just, I just recorded it just to post on, just post on my Instagram, and that's it. That's like, no, we got different rides for each day. And mainly it's Monday, Thursday, and Friday, and uh, Wednesday. So, and it'll come and start coming like often. That's when I got my dad's old mountain bike. And like, if y'all know me back then, bro, my tires, I mean, not my tire, my chain will always fall off. Every three minutes, it falls off. But I was still trying to wheelie, but I didn't know how to wheelie because I see like uh, the, the River Twins and Smooth J. That's who I learned it from. Smooth J, J from State Farm, them three guys, they know who started teaching me, started getting me processed through how to wheelie. Gears are the number one bikes you should start off that number one, but that's mainly what everybody start off. If you don't got a straight to pick up your bike, when you got gears, you can put it to the highest settings, to the highest uh, gear. The gear ratio, the high, which is which is the highest right here, it's gonna is what they're gonna do is that little kick is it, a super powerful kick because you got gears that send your bikes with single speed. So when you got a gear bike, just take it to the smallest gear and pick it up. As you can pick it up, try to maintain that. If you feel like you're about to fall, remember your brakes got you. If you feel like your brakes not got you, take it to the bike shop or take it to our bike shop, which is the $20 bike shop. They'll have it maintained for you. They got hydros. If you're looking for hydros, hydros are one of the best brakes. Base brakes if you try to wheelie, because your hands don't get tired of pressing the brakes. But that's the main reason. It's just brakes and try to pick up that wheel and keep it steady. Man, I, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I learned how to wheelie like, yeah, uh, I learned it three weeks. But the reason it three weeks, though, was because I learned from other people experiencing it type of shit. So, like, whatever they felt, they told me, yo, Try to turn in your head, and that's why I try to do to these other little kids. I tell them, well, when I see them do it, I tell them, yo, hey, try to hold your head stiff. That way you go straight. Cause if you tilt your bar, you go with a turn. Now here at Ride Bikes More, we always say keep it safe, keep it legal. A lot of people do not like the fact that people willy onto oncoming traffic. Why do you do that? What's going on? Okay, this is one of my favorite topics to talk about. Cause man. Okay, for us people that can wheelie, it's a different point of view for people that can't. For the people that watch, that's, that's two big differences. For the dudes that wheelie, it's like it's like, it's like like the videos on Instagram. It's a bragging right. But it's not just a bragging right. It's like, uh, they like that thrill. They like the danger. Like that, oh, I'm close to a car. It's like, it's the, the adrenaline goes through your body, bro. When you choose you and once you do it, everybody's like, whoa, how the fuck did this happen? People like you like me surprised we like seeing them surprised so that's how we do it we do it for the entertainment and we do it for like man we just do it because like we're close to danger you know but for the people that don't do it what we do of course it's gonna look like yo that's a little kid doing it and he's doing a car coming like literally 15 miles per hour or more literally that that looks dangerous and i and i get it it is dangerous but uh what they don't get is bro we have less crashes on, when we wheelie, we have less crashes wheelie than on two wheels, on two wheels. So we got, the people that I know of, that do do what I do, they got control of the bike when they're on that one wheel. So like, yeah, it's gonna seem dangerous. It is dangerous, I'm not gonna say it's gonna seem dangerous. It is dangerous, but we do it, we do it. See, I got a job, so when I when I end up messing up the two cars that I messed up before, I end up paying for it, I get them a number, I told them straight up. I didn't just run, you know? But you got some people that run as soon as they do it. And that's the problem, that's the problem with our generation, they start to run because they don't got a job, they don't want to pay for it, and it's going to look bad on their part. But it's going to look, for, like for teenagers, 
It's gonna look bad. Oh, he just hit the car and took off. That's cool. That's amazing, you know? Because now, now generation, they see bad things. That's good. You know what I'm saying? As we, we used to look at it, oh, we just hit a car. Yo, we need to stop and pay for our pay for what we just did, our responsibility. But, man, that's what, yeah, but, dude, it is dangerous, bro. That's why I tell people. That's why I tell all the little kids. Cause I, I bring two little kids with me. I don't know if you ever see me with Uh I recently gave a kid my bike, my old bike. It's a PK Ripper. It's an SC. His name is uh, Samari. Now he started to swerve. And I always told him, yo, he could swerve, but he I just don't want him swerving to oncoming traffic. He could swerve to a car that's parked. Because even though he if he hits that car, I could pay for it. Because that's this kid. Uh, the mom gave me this much price. Yo, watch my son. So when I take him, I make sure he's in, he's, in, he's in my eyes. So whatever he's doing, I'm looking. But, man, like, it's, it's not safe. But we still do it for the thrill of it. That's basically what it is. It's a thrill uh, that close to danger. I highly say don't do it if you're just not learning it. Try to swerve a cone or, like, a some little object because you can get hurt. I got hurt trying to swerve. And I hit a car before. I hit, like, three cars since I've been swerving. That's what I'm telling you. As, as I'm telling you, I'm telling you for real, bro. Cause like, bro, it's real when you swerve it, and you, especially oncoming traffic. That's where a lot of people fuck up. I fucked up before cause of that. Bro, I, I messed up my bike. It was like a GT, it was a GT performer, pro performer. I messed up the pegs. The pegs ended up being big. So, dude, when I tell you swerve at your own risk, and if you can't swerve yet, don't attempt it unless unless you got a cone or a helmet or anything to help you. Fuck it if you fall, cause that shit's serious. The bike like me is super sportive, man. Like, dude, remember, like, like I said, I was like, I'm, a, I'm an ankle butter. I'm an ankle butter. Yeah, like I said, I'm an ankle butter. I'm, I'm still getting support. People, people, like, if you think about, oh, this kid on an ankle butter riding a bike, you probably think so bad, you know? Cause the ankle butter is a bad thing. But the thing about it is, it was at the wrong time, at the wrong place. That the reason I got the ankle butter, and people were like, they don't fuck, they don't judge me, yo. Oh, he got an ankle butter. Stay away from it. Don't give him your bike. Remember, like I said, they gave me their bikes. They know I got an ankle butter, but they still give me their bikes. So, dude, they're trusted. Dude, they don't judge. You. They don't judge by your sight. There's no racism. They don't. Sh they got this shit going on. These just people riding bikes. Uh, look, they keep me safe. Well, I remember one time I forgot my wallet. Now, you know the bike rides. The one you interviewed the other day, dude. They pay. For, they, they sometimes they pay for uh like for a meal or dude. They, they ask me yo what you want. Even though I have my cash, they like, what you want. I'm like, oh no, I'm good, I'm good, this and that. But man, dude, it's supportive. Uh, now I'm partnered up with Mafia, this bike, this bike brand. This bike right here is a Chega. It's a 27.5. And what I like about it, man, they got gears. Like what I said, it's got gears, and bro, it's super affordable. If you think of bike uh, NC with gears, it goes for like two grand. The Fast Rivers go for two grand. The Oil Duro goes for a grand and 300. This bike goes for 850. And it's a BMA, it does the same shit. It's just pro. It's affordable for dudes that was willy that barely haven't even learned how to pick up their wheel. This is a good bike to start with. That's why uh, the shop, I go to the shop, I pick up a bike once a, once a week. Test ride, you got people walking up to you, yo, can I try this bike? I'm like, yeah, sure. Uh, if you like how it runs, we got, some, we got some more at the shop, different colors. And the Mafia, they come a different variety of colors. They got pink, hot pink, uh, like Detroit, the Detroit theme uh, bike. They got everything, bro. You got 27, 26, 24, and a 29. Any other shout outs you want to give? Man, Bayou, Lala, she's the Connect the Culture. That's one of my favorite riders, man. Other brother for sure. You know, Clutch, man, Monday, Ratchet Riders, Donkey. Man, all of them, bro. Man, but damn, that's pretty much it, bro. But man, that shit is live, man. Any, anything else you want to say? Yeah, so, so I just want to say, man, y'all keep that wheel up. If y'all know how to learn, y'all, if y'all want to learn how to wheelie, bro, y'all hit me up on Instagram. 700k.j I'm pretty sure he's gonna put in the link then man if y'all just call me hit me up I'll let y'all know when I'm available man but dude if y'all wanna learn how to wheelie just let me know and I got you dude I don't dude it's simple bro I'm telling you it just look difficult because the, the other shit we add on to the wheelie but bro it's just simply you add on as you gradually go but just let me know if you wanna ride if you wanna hang just let me know you wanna go to the gym I also go to the gym with my two favorite friends Anayeli and Linda Y'all wanna come? If y'all if y'all wanna come, just let us know and we'll and we'll, and we'll, and we'll set it up. For real. You can teach me how to wheelie on this bike. Yeah, I'm for sure, 100. percent You got your helmet, so you good. Yeah, I'm gonna say you you good, bro. Cause yeah, cause most dudes they only learn they don't start off with a helmet. So, but yeah, dude, it's pretty much it. I I could walk you through anything you want. And just let me know, and I got you, bro. 700k. I really appreciate your time today. Dude, I, I appreciate you, bro. Cause man, I see you done it. I didn't feel that shit. Oh, let me, I got, I got, I gotta get on that wagon. I gotta go. I don't care. I'm bandwagon. I'm right. 
He's like, all right, bet we're gonna get it done, boy. You told me, you told me the place. I missed you up, man, but this shit's pretty tight. Like, nigga, I'm cold right now, but nigga, I don't feel cold, bro. <laughs> like, for real, nigga. I'm like, nigga, I ain't tripping, but you know, it is what it is, though. I like it, man. For Ride Bike Smart, I'm Luke. We are out. Damn. Mm. Some people, they do tricks on a bike, and they put, you, I know, I, I know you see them uh, previously before, they start jumping on the seat with their legs while they do with a willy. That's cause, that's the, if you have the seat like this, you can easily slip. We can hit the wheel so a bag go down. That's why we got the seat down and down. And those who got it so low, you get more control, you know? Bend your arms, bend your arms, stand up, and bend your arms, bend your arms like this. Like that. And as soon as you do that kick, that, that throttle, push up, push up, push up. Yeah, so and remember, if you feel like you're about to fall, press your brakes. I always have that one thumb on the brakes. Look, watch this, my boy about to ride. You look good on the bike, boy. Remember, yeah. Remember, try to stand up. Stand up and do it. Yeah, there you go. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. You remember, stand up and do it. St stand, stand up. And when you stand up, remember your break. Keep, keep that. There you go. There you go. Do it. Pedal, pedal. Yeah.